Part two of the assignment is to take, and basically what we're gonna do is narrow down the symbols that we've made. So you have 10 of them. So now you can narrow them down to five. And then from that five, narrow that down, take those from that five, work up three of them. And then from the three, you're gonna make one final symbol. And this, that final symbol should be the one that you, you work on a little bit more. Maybe you can use your markers. If you want to, you can use color if it demands color. So I'm gonna work on three drawings and just kind of maybe just lay them out next to each other, see which three I wanna use. So, looking at three different designs. And I think I do one in the circular format. So basically what you wanna do is just like those three and so I'm going to work I'm going to work the one here that I did so it has like this this shape here the organic form shape I think I'll make a little adjustment so you can make a little adjustments on them so I'm gonna adjust it so I'm just gonna use this this kind of design here for one and in the circle I think I'll I'll choose my tree of life nature of life And so my nature of life. And what's interesting that when you, you may say, well, I'm just doing the same thing over again, but you, you will improve on it as you begin to work on it. So. I'll bring a little bit more into this, mainly the circle here. I think what I'll do this time, instead of darkening this area, I may just darken in the negative space around the, the form. You'll see what I'm talking about. And then uh, the virus, I think I'm going to do something uh, related to the virus. So. So here, let me close this down. Now, asymmetrical design is basically something that I don't like that where that's going. Here, yeah, a little tighter. So asymmetrical design is like if something is like a little bit more to the left or to the right a little bit, and that gives it that asymmetry. Asymmetrical design. Now this is some a symmetrical design. This one right here. This is more of an asymmetrical design where the weight is on one side like this, and you can see these forms kind of like moving in from the side. And this is more or less like a. You look at it within this perimeter. That this is more of a asymmetrical design. This is more of a. Well, if you turned it on the other side, this is more asymmetrical too because a lot of the weight is at the top and a little bit down here, down to the bottom. Symmetrical design would be if everything was in the center. So this was the, uh, the idea with the virus. And I think we're saying like if you want to use color, you can use color. So three 
then I'm going to use, I think I'll use these I'm going to use these three and then I'm going to choose from these three it's going to be choose one to work up so sometimes it's a little hard to try to figure out which one to, which one would you use especially if you get two if you get three different ones um, you might like all three so I'm trying to see how this looks with the negative space. Let's try another option. I think I liked it the other way with just this form in in um, but this one here I think I will like this working the negative space. I think that'll work. Because if I want to retain the circle. I could use that negative space. So here I'm just kind of like working that negative space. something like that using the negative space and then here this one actually could be in the same thing using the negative space on this one this one might be nice in, in color or maybe two colors so the next step will be to take one of these designs and I would say like about the 8 by 10 size blow it up to about 8 you know scale roughly the work in a rough area about 8 by 10 and make one nice uh, finish symbol so after you know looking at them I decided I was going to try this and I added a little bit of detail to the tree so now I'm going to do my final and so I blew it up I made this is like a 8 inch instead of an 8 by 10 so this is an 8 inch circle my shape here so this one is the one that you're going to put more of your finishing touches on so like these lines that I'm making here for the drawing these are like my reference lines and then I saw where I like the uh, maybe make it look more like a palm tree so I just put those little marks underneath like the those kind of leaves that they have and then I'll work the rest of it up the drawing with uh, I'm going to use my marker and put this in here. Here. I'm thinking about the tree, kind of like that palm type looking tree down at the bottom, the shape. So. I'm going to outline this with my marker. I'm thinking that all this is going to be black, so I'm going to use my gouache. It's faster. 
And some of you may want to just use your marker to do the whole thing, but for me, I find like painting it sometimes it's much quicker. Let me put this. I'm gonna leave that alone right now. So I don't use that as an implied line when I finish doing the shapes around the, the tree. like kind of methodically around the subject the organic shapes usually sometimes they get a little rough a little bit around the edges well, I'll fill in the rest with the negative space make a circle it's like I use my you don't have a compass but I kind of use my wrist kind of move my hand around like that from here with my wrist to kind of guide me to help guide that that arc and if you have to I'm doing I'm working on sort of for you for the camera but it could you could turn your paper around you don't have to leave it like in one in one position In fact, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to move this around this way. It's easier for me to work my pen like this. Here, and then I got my shape inside. That way. Now, for my symbol, I'm going to fill in the negative spaces with the marker. So I'll, I'll speed up the tape so you can see it, so we can get this done. So I'm going to use, just to move it faster, I'm going to use some black gouache. And you can see I can really kind of like lay it down. I already have my outline, so it makes it easy for me to like kind of fill it in. So I'm gonna fill it in with the with the gouache. Okay, so now I've just finished. I put down two coats of black because some areas were a little thin. And I'm going to go in here and just erase out my lines that I used, just to my guidelines, and take them out. So this gives you like a strong, in this case, in this 
a strong graphic uh, impact of a symbol and depending on your symbol think about the composition how you would lay it out on the page so I'm just going to go in here and erase this out and then I'll take a final picture for you so you can see here is the first one the quick rough that I made and from this one I went to this one here and I added a few things to make it look more like a palm and then my final looks like this so I have it's more pronounced it's more refined it's like a finished finished workup for a symbol so this is my symbol dealing with life and nature. Mm -hmm.